Hello, guys. Welcome to our channel once again. The city of Grande Pare in Canada has launched a new PR pathway to attract foreign skilled workers to come into Canada and work in Canada. Now, Grande Pare community is a rural community in Canada with a smaller population of people living in this rural community. And because of the smaller population of people in this community, employers in this rural community of Grande Pare are, are in dead needs of international workers to come into Canada and live in Grande Pare, work and live in Grande Pare. Now, as I said, it is a rural community with a smaller population of people living in this community. And because of this, that is why they need international workers to come into Canada and particularly Grande Pare rural community area in Canada to live and work in this community. Now, this is a PR pathway for all international workers, which allows you to be able to move to Grande Pare in Canada to live and work in this community. The vacant positions that designated employers in the Grande Pare community in Canada as released includes both skilled and unskilled labor shortage in the Grande Pare community. So which means there are some designated employers in the Grande Pare community and they have registered different vacant positions for the Grande Pare community development project. So which means you will have an opportunity to be able to apply to open positions that the designated employers in the Grande Pare community in Canada has already advertised international workers to come into Canada to apply for. Now, before the end of this video, I'm going to be showing to you the different uh, vacant positions that has already been advertised and that has already been released by the designated employers in Grande Pare community. Now, all you need to do to be able to apply for this new PR pathway is to apply to all the list of open positions that I'll be showing to you shortly. Now, once you are able to secure a job with any of this employer, then you can now submit your applications for endorsement by the Grande Parade community for them to endorse your applications to the Abata Community Advantage Immigration Program so that they can issue to you all the necessary documents that you need to apply for you and your family to apply for work visa to Canada. Now, the beauty of this new PR pathway is that the educational requirement only requires all international applicants to have minimum of high school certificate, which is equivalent to your secondary or WAHEC certificate. I mean, that is great, right? So it, it is open to everybody to apply. Everybody can apply to this opportunity. Please do not lose this opportunity because the vacant positions that designated employers have released for this new PR pathway is very enormous. I mean, when I saw it, it is very, very plenty, it's up to about six to seven Pages and I'll be showing to I'll be showing them to you shortly. Now another thing is this: you don't need to pay any agent or any of this employer. In fact, based on the policy of the Grand Depare Community Development Project for this PR pathway, if any employer after applying for job on their website, if any employer is asking you to pay any money, you can report such employer to the phone number or the email address provided by the community of Grande Pare uh, uh, in Canada. And I will be showing to you the details about how you can report any of such employer shortly. Now, the job must be a full-time job. And in Canada, a full-time job is a permanent job that allows you to work at least 
minimum of 30 hours of work per week and issued to you up to about one year contract. That is the permanent or a full-time job. And that is the kind of job that is qualified to, you know, to, to contest or to apply for this PR pathway to Canada and under this Grand Paré community project. So in this video, I'll be showing to you how to apply for this PR pathway, the different eligibility criteria that all international applicants need to meet before applying, the designated employer and the vacant positions that are open by this designated employer. And lastly, I'll be showing to you how to apply directly on the career page of each of these designated employers. So if you're just coming across our channel, this is Jackpa with your days. Please and please like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. And also, please, please give this video a thumbs up. That is how the YouTube management or algorithm sees that this video is providing relevant information to the general public. Thank you very much. Now, let me quickly show to you every details that you need to be able to apply to this new PR pathway for the Grand Paré Rural Community Development Project. So this is the city of Grand Paré Community Project, which, as I said, it is a PR pathway. And because of the smaller populations of people living in this community, that is why they have come up with different job opportunities that designated employer in the Grand Paré community can you know, used to bring international applicants, skilled or unskilled international applicants to this rural community, to work and live in this rural community. And as you can see here, the project started from June of this year and the demand to immigrate to Alberta is far higher than the province can accommodate within the limited number of nominations received from the federal government every year. Therefore, the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program must manage its 2024 allocation to address economic priorities with respect to the shortage of jobs that are in some of these econo I mean, that are in some of these rural um, um, the, uh, rural province or economy in Canada. So the applications in 2024 will be accepted monthly by the provincial government on the following date. So which means the uh, this PR pathway started this month. August 13th is the first month in which they accepted applications from all international applicants. So, and they will also be accepting on September 10th, October 8th, November 5th, and December 10th of this year. So this is the, so which means from August till December, that is when they will be accepting applications from all international applicant. Now, when a stream of pathway monthly application target is reached, no further application will be accepted into the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program portal. So you have this month, which means every month, you must target this date for every month to first of all, go and look for job. When you are able to secure a job, then you can now apply for any of this date. And of course, once your application is accepted, an endorsement letter is issued to you, then you can apply for your work visa and everything can be done online. And I will show that to you shortly. Now, let's quickly also check some other essential informations that are relevant. Let's look, first of all, look at the application process, okay? Applications will require a 30 days review process, which means if you submit your um, uh, your applications today, you can expect to receive notifications regarding the status with, within the next 30 days. Let's quickly look at the application process. First of all, step one, employer applied to partnership, meaning employers in the rural community of the Grande Pare apply to partner under this project and they you know, push in all the vacant positions that they have available and that they are looking international that that they are looking for international applicant for when they partner and show all the open positions that they have available application is reviewed by the uh, the community or the committee of the grande Paré community 
candidates apply for these jobs, when you apply for this job and the third, fourth step is that the job is offered to you. And like I said, no employer have the right to ask you for any money before they offer you any job position. In fact, it is deemed illegal. And that is why they provided a section where you can report such employer. And I will show that to you as well shortly. So you are you apply for the job, you are offered the job. Then when you are offered the job, your employer also assists you to be able to apply for what is called endorsement letter of application. The employer applies to the Grand Prairie Rural Renewal Streams Community Partnership for a letter of endorsement for your candidacy. That is the step five, okay? The step six, endorsement letter is issued to you. Step seven, candidate apply for the provincial nominations. All of this is just, I mean, once the most important part of this application process is to secure the job. Every other thing comes and, you know, it will, it, will, it will be very rare for you not to get endorsement letter once you once your employer has sent your applications and your candidacy to the rural community under this project. It will be very, it will be very rare for you not to get all the required letter of endorsement and every other uh, uh, document that is essential. That is for step seven, candidates apply for provincial nomination and step eight, you apply for immigration and work in Grande Pare, which is your work visa process. Once you apply for your work visa, you and your family can then move to Canada. Now, let me quickly show you the most important part, application process, information for candidates. I don't want to bore you with too much details. I'll be leaving the links to this website and the necessary essential links that you need. I'll be leaving it on the video description for you to do further readings and further research yourself. Now, you will see here, employer's fees are illegal. And in fact, if any employer is requesting for any money from you, you can call this line to report such an employer so that they can discontinue such employer from this program or from this stream, okay? It is illegal. Don't pay any money to any agent or any employer for you to be able to secure any job. Now, candidate eligibility. Now, you can read in details for that eligibility here, but the most important part is this, job experience. Any job you want to apply for, you must have experience and you must be able to show in your CV relevant experience for any job that you are applying for. And of course, every information you provide on your CV must also be, you must also be able to defend it during the interview session. And um, yes, that is very, very important. And also try as much as possible to design your CV in a Canadian job market format so that you will be able to gain other tractions with the employers or the HR that will be reviewing your CV. Your education, as I said, the highest educational qualification required is your high school certificate, which is your secondary school certificate. And also, you must also meet some criteria depending on which job that you are applying for, you must also meet the language requirement and you must also be able to show some sort of settlement subsidy. They call it financial security. Settlement subsidy is for uh, the first three months when you get to Canada to take care of your accommodations, to take care of your uh, feeding and some other settlement subsidy that, that is required. But if you want to check further in details, the eligibility criteria, you can check them here. And I think I've already opened it down. With respect to language, with respect to language requirements, depending on which job code, the knock code that your jobs fall under. Now, for if your job fall under this uh, knock code 0, 1, 2, or 3, your minimum language must be minimum of 5 for each skills language, written, writing, reading, and speaking. Your minimum score must be 5. But if your job offer is under the knock code, code four and five, the minimum requirement must be minimum of four for each of the four parameters of reading, writing, speaking, and then reading. So the, the, the so it, it show you that's why I say I will leave the link so that you can do in details research yourself. Now let's quickly check the educational requirement. At the time your application is submitted, you must have completed a minimum of high school educational equivalent to the Canadian education standard or a foreign degree, which is equivalent to your high school certificate or 
secondary school certificate. But if you have degree, HND, ND, or any other certificate, good to go. It, it, it will even give your applications further um, advantage. And of course, settlement funds requirement, which is, I said, so settlement subsidy. And you can read in details how settlement subsidy is, um, I mean, how, what they refer to as set settlement subsidy. And I mean, what is not what is not regarded as settlement subsidy, like maybe your cars, properties, and all of those things are not regarded as settlement subsidy. And you can read in details how you can provide settlement subsidy depending on your household numbers. If your household numbers is, as, uh, I mean, uh, the, you guys are three, a wife, husband, and a child, a wife, husband, and two children, you know, depending on your household, that is what will determine what amount of money you must provide to be able to show your settlement subsidy and depending on the population size of the community that you are also going into in the Grand Pare rural community. So that is that. So I don't want to bore you. I will leave the link. You can do detailed research yourself. Now, this is where I am going to. These are the list of jobs that has already been advertised by the designated employers in Canada. And you can, for instance, this is the uh, the, the name of the company, this is the different job title that has already been advertised, and this is the physical address. So which means if you're already in Canada, with, probably with a visiting visa and you're looking for a way out, this is one of the way out for you. If you apply to any of these jobs and you get it, I mean, you can easily you know, start the application process to be able to legalize your stay in Canada. So now let's now what I'm go, I want to do with you is this. When you read, uh, for instance, these are the jobs title. We have sales associates, barber, painter, line cook, or auto body technicians, retail associates, cook, food counter, bartender, cashier, cook, food. I mean, the lists are quite enormous. Accounting, front desk agent, pharmacy aid, food service supervisor, cook, shop laborer. I mean, the lists are enormous. I will not be able to read all of this, but you, that's why I said both skilled and unskilled workers is what they are looking for. And they have taken their time to, read, to write out the list of open position corresponding to the vacancy that each of these designated employers have, uh, have, have, have partnered with the community with. So you can, in your own spare time, read in detail. So let me quickly show to you before ending this video, let me quickly show to you how to apply to any of these jobs. For instance, we, we have KFC, Burger Kings, Chevron, we have, Different, different companies partnering with them. Now, let's say you want to uh, uh, apply to one of these jobs. How do you do it? For instance, I'm going to pick this, the name of this company, Early Kitchen Plus Bar. Let's go, you now go to Google and go and look for Early Kitchen's website. This is their website. So when you go to their website, when you search on Google, on Google the name of the company, just say, for instance, I search for Early Kitchen Plus, um, I say Early Early Kitchen Plus Bar Canada. So that, because I mean, these different names and you can have similar names in different countries. So to streamline your search, I just put Early Kitchen Plus Bar Canada. So that it will show to me that I'm only focused on the one that is in Canada. So it brought me to their website and I clicked on it. So the first place I'm going to is their career page. You see, I'm already on their career page. So, and I've, I've gone to their current of openings, the job opportunities that, that, that they have available. Now, you scroll down. So this is the uh, open position for different cities that they have available in Canada or in the different province. This is them here. Now, it's, it's now asking, which region of Canada do you want to select? Are you looking for? We are looking for the Grande Pare. So you must streamline your search to the city because any job uh, any employer you're applying to, the job must be in Grande Pare. That is when you can qualify to, you know, to move under this project and get your PR straight away. Okay. Now you see early Grande Pare. You click on it. When you click on it, it will take you to this place. And then uh, these are the once you click on it, it will it will take you to this place. Let's quickly check. Once you click on it, it will show you the list of open positions. For instance, if you come under this place, you will see bartender, sauce, chef, host, dishwasher, food and beverage server. And then let's go under the uh, Grande Pare list of current postings. You see, 
shift manager, bartender, server, host, which correspond to cook, dishwasher, which correspond to the same things that you are seeing here. That's how to set. Now, if you are now interested in any of these positions, design your CV to hit it. And let's say, for instance, I mean, you are interested in uh, chef. You click on it. It will take you directly to. It will take you directly to where you will apply to the job, and then you can, you know, read in details the job descriptions and every other essential information. And then once you are good to go, put your name, email address, you attach your CV, you attach your cover letter, and then you add every other essential information that is required and you submit your application. So you can apply to as many as possible, as many as possible. The details are enormous and they have great uh, companies, Pizza Hut, Burger Kings, all of them are, are, I mean, recruiting international applicants under this project. So you have no excuse not to be able to lash into this opportunity. And I've shown to you how to apply for this job directly from the company website themselves. I've talked about the different eligibility criteria, which I expect that you will do in details, research yourself, and I've shown to you the different open positions that are available with the corresponding company names and the physical address for those who are already in Canada or say maybe visiting visa or tourist visa. So everybody can apply to this position. So you have no excuse whatsoever not to be able to apply. And if you need a one-on-one -on -one session for us to be able to help you out with your applications, with your CV and every other essential information, you can, you need to register to our one-on-one -on -one session so that we'll be able to help you polish your CV and you know assist you in your application submission. And if you need any further clarifications or you need to ask some sort of questions, you can email the Rural Renewal Stream, which is for the Grand Pare community directly to get clarifications regarding any phase or steps of your application. And if you, if, I mean, if it is a questions or comment that you want to, you can drop them on our comment section and we will try as much as possible to answer any of your comments as we see, see them fit or as we know them. Thank you very, very much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this, the YouTube notifications will immediately come to you and you will be able to lash into the opportunity and don't forget give this video a thumbs up it is very very important to us that you like this video once again it is a pleasure to have brought this information away till we come your way next time bye bye for now